It's 10 a.m. in Washington, and soon a Senate Judiciary panel will hold a hearing on rules for regulating artificial intelligence. Lawmakers are concerned about the wide range of risks posed by the technology as they try to find possible solutions. The CEO of OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, will testify. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarlane is following this for us from Capitol Hill. Scott, what can you tell us about the hearing? It has the potential of being one of those hearings, clips from which could air years from now. As we look back at the origins of how the government tries to regulate and tries to control this artificial intelligence. AI is accelerating at warp speed without much guardrail in place. And Congress, to put it charitably, does not operate at warp speed. So. The question today is, can Congress corral this with some legislation to put in some type of controls over AI before it grows any faster and any further? Just, just for, for some form of context, AI months ago wasn't nearly as pervasive or as popular or as frightening to some Americans as it is now. When you see a technology growing by leaps and bounds on a monthly basis, you do get the attention of the U.S. Senate, which today will question Sam Altman, the head of OpenAI, about AI's future and what Congress can do about it. Okay, so I know we've been talking an awful lot about AI here, but what prompted uh, this whole thing? As you look at Richard Blumenthal, chairman of the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee, Blumenthal from Connecticut, I think the AI companies themselves are encouraging some form of regulation. They recognize the power and scope of the technology with which they are working. Some of the ideas that have gone out there include perhaps requiring certification, government approval of new AI models before they're adopted and implemented, potentially having some regulations or laws overseeing all the data that these AI tools collect on you and on me. Who's going to control or mine that data? There's a thought here in Washington that data is the new oil, the new gold. So this was a self-motivating thing, Amory. There was a clear recognition in Congress. They've got to get ahead of this because they missed the boat on regulating the internet at its infancy, social media at its infancy, AI perhaps no longer at its infancy has the potential of growing that large and that impactful. So uh, who's, what can you tell us about the lineup of who's testifying? Well, Sam Altman, the head of OpenAI, is going to be the star witness here. His company and his technology growing new fame with ChatGPT, that chatbot tool that is being used from everybody from political strategists to authors to high school students who might want to get a leg up on their term papers. You'll also hear from an executive from IBM, a company that is getting into the AI sphere. Again, the people testifying here are just figures in the AI world. There's no leader of the AI world, and that potentially might be Congress's burden. Who should be overseeing all this? Is it the federal government's role? Does the federal government have a foothold to do so? Those are the questions they'll ask at this hearing, beginning right now. I mean, we remember some of the basic questions that they asked uh, Mark Zuckerberg about how Facebook makes money and stuff like that. And it was very clear that it was challenging for them to understand um, how these tech businesses work. And now we're talking about emerging, te emerging technology that we don't even know what it's capable. The people that are probably testifying don't know what it's capable of. I can't imagine that lawmakers are going to know the right questions yeah. to ask, because that's the only way to get the right answers. But I know you're on the case, Scott, watching as things unfold. Thank you very much. Thank you.